nominate examiners for the ICIC 2016 exam. Just imagine. Now, we, I heard one principal, I think from Bangalore, father, uh, said about the CD and uh, instructions to be sent well in advance. All this is only possible if we get our examiners on time. Right? 474 schools yet to nominate. And since we are online, it's very easy for my Deputy Secretary IT to tell me at every moment what the number is like. It's very visible, very transparent. Major shortfall in examiners for ICSC 2016 examinations are in English, the most compulsory subject. So if you overload the examiners, they are supposed to get only 250 scripts. If you overload them and give them about 400 scripts, can you imagine what is going to be the plight of our children's results? Keep that in mind, dear principals. Number of examiners required for ISC is approximately 3,000, half the number. There's a shortfall of examiners, again in English, science practicals and physical education for ISC 2017 exam. Now, some heads of schools have stated that the examiners do not have PAN card or do not have the required experience. Now, regarding the PAN card, I'll ask my Deputy Secretary IT. Speak from there. He'll explain to you regarding the PAN card. Uh, the PAN card is used by the system, the automated system, as a unique identity to identify an examiner based on which the previous year's experience, etc., is carried forward and the information about that examiner is stored in the system. That is the technical part. And the second part is the renumerations. This data is also used, the unique identity and the PAN card is also used to the, is linked to the payment part. Now, the legal position or the regulations of the country is that if you don't have a PAN card, the council is expected to deduct 20% of the remunerations and deposit that as tax deduction at source. Now the question comes, against whom? Unless we have a PAN number, we don't know against whom it is to be deducted. Deduct we have to. It just goes into a general account or whatever the technical name the CA tells us. But the benefit of that takes its own time. In case the PAN number is given, the automated system also keeps track about what are the remunerations made to that particular person over a period of time. In case it does not come within the taxable limit, no tax deduction is done at source. The moment it comes in, only the required amount of 10% tax deduction is done. I'll leave the rest at that. The, the second part is regarding required experience. You are appointing teachers. Now, if the teacher has been with you for one year or two years, doesn't mean the teacher has not had experience in the previous school. We will consider the experience of the teacher from the previous school also. So please add the experience of the teacher from the previous school. And do not mention to the council that this teacher has been appointed only for two years or one year. So we are sorry we cannot send you the examiners. Now these are various reasons why we are not getting examiners. So please, please uh, nominate your examiners. The nomination date has been extended to 30th November 2015. You know the number of examiners that are required. So please help the council, earnest request to all heads of school. 133 schools 
have yet to order for stationery for both ICSE and IIC 2016 exam. Now tell me, if we are going to carry on extending and extending, all you could see on the screen is that extension of time is being given. We are running a council. We are having 2,000 plus schools. And you are just having one school to take care of. What is the problem? Please be a little more attentive and help the council in fulfilling their duties. Others, we are not able to fulfill our duties. We are carrying on extending time for everything. Now we are extending the time for even the stationery. Ample time was given. Now what is going to happen regarding stationery? There are two suppliers. One is supplying, that is no publishers, uh, printers are supplying the answer script, the answer booklet. The top sheet, another printer is supplying. Now, the top sheet that you have just seen, which you have in your hand, is going to be stitched to the main script, the main answer script, where the child is going to answer the paper, answer the questions. So now that needs time. Stitching. The next is the name of the child, photograph, all those details have to be done. So if you do not order your sheets in time, how will we give the printer these details? Because it's not just a blank answer sheet. It's carrying a lot of information about the candidate. So can I request you to please place your orders so that the printing can take place. Rules for conduct of examination for the ICSC and ISC examinations uh, is being reviewed, modified as per the LICR solution for the 2016 exam. And as I already mentioned to you, we will give CDs and we will also give pamphlets uh, to the convener, to supervising examiners and examiners. The final timetable for ICSC and ISC 2016 examinations will be made available on the council website and careers portal by the first week of December 2015. We are receiving, we are still receiving requests for various changes in the draft timetable. We will study that and finally the final draft should be ready by the first week of December. Regulations and syllabus for ICSC and ISC March 2018 will be made available to school by the first week of January 2016. We had given our standing committee on examination to go through the changes that we have made in the syllabuses for physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics for ISC, history, civics, geography, physics for ICSC. So the last date is today, the 20th. So once we receive uh, uh, their suggestions, uh, we will incorporate all that and the even the regulations, there are changes in the regulations because of the LICR. All that will be looked into and it will be incorporated and by the first week of January you should be getting a hard copy. But this hard copy that you will be receiving will continue maybe for another two years because we have made an agreement with the printer because they are paying royalty to us. But maybe after two years, not maybe, it will be, after two years, council doesn't require the royalty. Uh, we will do away with the hard booklet. It will go online. Today everything is online. So this will also be online, but it will take two more years. The analysis of pupil performance document for ICSC and IIC 2015 examination are available on the council website. Please go to the council website and 
look at the pupils analysis and inform your teachers to please go through it for both the examinations. Uh, the council has decided that besides schools, the concerned candidates and parents would be allowed directly to apply for recheck of answer scripts through the council website from 2016 examination onwards. This is being done. <laughs> this is being done because last year and in previous years also, we get, we give you a time period for these rechecks. But what happens after the date uh, expires? We still get a request and we are supposed to keep the answer script for only 60 days and then it gets pulped, right? So now once it gets pulped, we can't do anything. So the problem, when we ask the principal, why are you so late in applying for this child's recheck? The answer is, I was out of station, I was on holiday because that's the time May, the results are out third week of May. Schools are closed, they go for holidays. So we are not going to disturb the principal. So we said, let the children apply online. Let the parents apply online. Don't disturb the school, right? And we will take care of it because we are also reducing the time for recheck. Uh, it is 10 days, 10 days. So both for ICSC and IISC, it's only 10 days. And we are trying to keep it uh, to, this day, uh, to this number of 10 days. All boards right across the country have been advised by the MHRD to please shorten this time because we have to get our results prepared and published by the 31st of March. This is the request made by the MHRD to uh, uh, May, sorry, 31st of May. 31st of May, sorry, 31st of May 2016. So that the students could appear for their competitive examinations. The council has also decided to mention English as a compulsory subject and all other subjects as elective subjects on the reverse side of the ISC statement of marks. Because requests have come that they would like this to be on the reverse side. This will be enforced from 2016. The syllabi for science and commerce streams subjects at the ISC class 11 and 12 level are in keeping with the common co-curriculum prescribed by the Council of Boards of School Education in India, which is known as COPSE, which is an association of all boards of school education in India. We are following a common curriculum. The syllabuses are prepared keeping in mind the requirements of the various competitive exams Hence, students taking the ISC examination will be well equipped to take various competitive examinations such as IIT, PMT, CAT, and IIM. Now, regarding the syllabuses that have been reviewed, physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics for ISC for 2018, examination, I'll request Mrs. Sodhi, our Deputy Secretary, ISC, to enlighten us with the revised version. <laughs> 